Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, so look at this. La Tomatina Tomatoes. I love this event man, I really freaking love this event I'm making this video just to talk about this awesome event right now It's been so long since we have had an event that you can get literally a 5 star skill book for free Alright, so you literally, you just have to do all this, this simple quest every single day For around 4, four days 4 days because 1 day you get 33 If you do it 3 days you get 99 you just need like 100 for the 5 star skill books. Easy. Like easiest 5 star skill book of your life, man. Make sure if you're not logged into the event right now, what are you waiting for, man? You're missing out a lot. And I'm telling you guys, this is like by far like the best freaking event in Brown Dust in a long period. I've been playing this game for so long. They've never had such a wonderful event before. Not only do you get this 5 star skill book, the 10 premium scrolls, the 300 diamonds, every single freaking quest right here that you do in the daily rewards, you will get 3 red slimes. 3 freaking red slimes. Red slimes, we're talking about red slimes, not pink slimes, we're talking about the, the best one ever, the best slime ever. You're gonna be able to hoard a bunch of these, you can just use them as you wish. Level up as many of your mercenaries as needed. Obviously, Red slimes are the most valuable ones, so you want to try to uh, use them on like your 5 stars or something so that they get all the way to max level. So yeah, La Tomatina Festival. I've no idea how people can just complain about not being able to get 5 star skill books, etc, etc. Like, this game is like, I feel like they're getting more and more generous. Uh, just kudos and shout out to the developers for sure. Like. Aside from this 5 star skill book that you get here, you can obviously purchase, if you want to, you can buy the package for the La Tomatina package. There's package 1, package 2, package 3. You can buy whichever that you want. So package 3 will give you 5 star skill book. Package 2 will give you some premium scrolls if you need that. Package 1 is like the, the cheapest option, the bang for your buck if you want to go for that. If you want to buy all 3, go ahead. So yeah, like you get 2 of these. 5 star skill books and still not to be forgotten in case you guys have already forgotten there's still the transfer free 5 star skill transfer this month look at that I still haven't used any of mine and aside from that you should be getting one more free 5 star skill book from this particular treasure hunt as well because the fourth one you should actually get one more uh, where's the reward list? There. 5 star skill book. So the 5 star skill book is going to be right here somewhere. So ideally, this month, the month of August, two 5 star skill books from the La Tomatina packages. You can get like three 5 star skill book from events alongside with the 5 star skill transfer. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. And yeah, it's time to catch up if you guys are not yet catching up, make sure to do so. I'm not sure where to select, I'm just gonna select where the compass is. Okay, that's a lot of runes, man. That's a lot of runes. What's up with that? Just gonna take all the runes, I guess. Let's go ahead and claim all. Okay, so let's talk about skill transfer. I'm gonna go here. So I'm trying to build my Stella right now, which is, you know, for obvious reasons, I want her to be, I want to use her in my PvP setup. That's going to be hard though. I currently already have... Let's see. Let's just go to the companion. Right here. Supporter. Russia. I have three Russias. So I'm going to um, grab this Russia. I'm going to enchant her. Oh wait. I need, to, I need to unlock the remaining Russias. Something like that. And lock her. Okay. Now this will work. Russia, one, two, three, two hundred thousand. That's one of the most expensive thing ever. So after this, I will need two more Russias. Uh, I'm not afraid of getting more. Uh, I don't think I'm struggling with it because via the fate system with Russia, 
I think they have given me like quite a lot of those teddy bears as well 38% so that's pretty good very good I think I'll be able to obtain definitely I should be able to obtain her uh, if I keep buying all the gifts from the guild shop and getting the companion uh, gifts from daily rewards as well so not too worried about getting the fifth Russia but I might need to get the fourth Russia I'm not sure if I'm to rush it right now or I just want to wait for a bit for the time being Oh, what just happened? Guild War defeat! Alright, whatever man, whatever. Alright, just take them guild badges for now. So yeah, my next target is to build Stella. So I currently have one Stella. So right now, oh no, I have two. Yeah, I did pull two. So I just need to unlock the other one. Which is, uh, she should be somewhere here. Okay, so now that I've unlocked that, I can use that. To skill this Stella up, what will I get? Uh, blood sucking 50% now goes up to 75%. Alright, so let's take it. Let's take the 75%. I'm gonna do that. I have plenty of skill books, gonna use that. That will make me a plus 7. Can I get her to plus 9? Wait, what do I get at plus? I'm looking to uh, for the strongest, the highest upgrade for the what do you want to call that highest upgrade for the crit rate so it's gonna be somewhere let's see five percent ten percent fifteen oh so at plus six she gets the bonus attack yeah plus twelve is where she's at forty five percent crit rate okay so let's go i'm gonna skill transfer everything into stella let's go transfer boom Need to first find my freaking Stella. Where is she? Found you. Alright, who will be the sacrificial one? Who is willing to give away some of your skill for Stella to be awesome? Alright, uh, definitely Victor. I don't want to use Victor. Do not plan to use Victor at all. So, wait, wait, wait. I'm doing it wrong. I'm transferring from Stella to Victor. That's not how it works. <laughs> uh... Alright, I'm doing this Victor to Stella. Okay, so this is how it should be. So Stella will get a plus two. Let's go. Victor skill will be transferred. Yes. Stella plus two. Alright, let's make a plus three Stella. Battery. You. You will give one of your... At least one of your skill points to Stella. Okay, so battery. Give, give away the points. You don't need plus three battery. You're not going to do anything with that plus 3. So 5% crit rate. Alright, I can transfer some more. Z Wait, what? I've been using my skill transfer ticket. Oh my god, I did not realize it. <laughs> I thought I was using the free skill transfer. But all the while I was using my skill transfer ticket. Like, what the heck? Ah, oh, man. It's okay though. Uh, yeah, not too big of a deal, I guess. Okay, so let's transfer... Now I'm using the free skill transfer, okay. Ah. Okay, so I have a plus 5 Stella right now. Yamir. You will need to transfer some of yours to Stella as well. Let's go. So this will make me a plus 6. One more Yamir. You have to sacrifice for the greater good. Uh, let's see. Am I stronger? 25% yeah who else uh, Yuri yeah Yuri for sure let's go go to Stella oh I'm plus 8 now I am plus 8 I have one more I have one more skill transfer who will need to transfer to Stella god damn it should I transfer Jin away like Jin is really fun but I don't think he's good anymore like counter yeah, with all the... Yeah, I think I'll transfer Jin away. I was initially wanting to build a Jin, but considering how the meta is going now, like, Jin can't even, like, one-shot Cecilia anymore. It's just so hard for, for Jin to be relevant in the meta. He really needs some serious rework. Like, right now, the meta is, like, not in favor of him for sure. So, yeah, definitely going to transfer the skill points from Jin away as well. And with that, I just use up everything. 
plus 9 stellar. Okay, so now I just gotta equip the companion and I should easily get a plus 12, a company. Kaboom! So plus 12, that will give me a lot of flexibility uh, in terms of this bonus crit rate that I'm getting. Whew. My team is gonna be way stronger now. 35% attack. Uh, that's gonna be so much more uh, than how much I Venaka provides, I think. Oh no, Venaka is 45%. But yeah, this one is irremovable as well. I guess it's pretty decent. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Definitely will try and build Stella and I'll try and rune her and use her in a couple of PvP, PvP battles. So stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna make more. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe and give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.